What's up, Pirates? Pirates? Welcome back to PCTV News. I'm Joey Siegel. And I'm Jake Diano. Today is Wednesday, April 17th, 2024. Sophomores and juniors, are you interested in becoming a Pirate mentor for the 2024-2025 school year? We are looking for qualified students to have fun and help the class of 2028 have a great start at PCHS. Leadership experience looks great on job, scholarship, and college applications. No previous experience? No problem. If you are interested, fill out the application sent to your school email by Friday, May 3rd. Also, if you have any questions, you should ask uh, Mrs. Lightfoot or Mrs. Brown. A special congratulations to all the students who have been accepted into the National Honor Society. The National Honor Society, or NHS, is for students who excel in their classes, community, and character. The induction ceremony will be on April 24th at 6 p.m. in the Wilson Auditorium. Thank you, Jake. On April 25th, sophomores will have a class meeting which will also receive their class rings. Attention seniors, May 2nd is Decision Day, and there will be a celebration during the second PLT for any seniors who have filled out their forms sharing their post-high school plans. On May 3rd, the school will be hosting our annual drum percussion showcase at 7 p.m. in the Wilson Auditorium. CPR training for seniors is continuing this week and next week. Seniors, keep an eye on your e-haul passes if you haven't done your CPR training yet. Lately, our school has been building up a new boys volleyball team. Take a look. I mainly joined it because my dad was a coach for college. So it's always been like, volleyball has always been in our family. I've always wanted to play it. Uh, I, at first, it was mainly just getting the key stuff down and actually how to play volleyball. Uh, but now we're just going against each other. My favorite part about men's volleyball is just the overall atmosphere. I love the vibes that uh, it brings and I love the sport itself. It's pretty fun. School should definitely make it a real sport next year. Uh, we got a ton of people interested in playing it and it's going to be a lot of fun if they make it into an actual sport where we can. Other schools should definitely do men's volleyball. It's uh, something that's definitely becoming a lot more popular nowadays for high school and it's getting a lot more interest and traction nowadays. So. My experience with men's volleyball has been pretty good so far and that's considering it's only been uh, practices two days a week so if I'm having fun with a lot, a uh, lot less practices, then I'm definitely gonna have a lot more fun with five days. So we have practices uh, twice a week, sometimes more. Um, so we are not Misha yet. So it's all club. All of our coaches are volunteers. So no pay yet. Hopefully that <laughs> will that will change in the future. But we have broken up into varsity, JV, and C team. So we have to try to get all of the boys some playing time, which can be a little bit challenging. We practice over at the middle school gym, so it's a little small for that many boys, but we're, we're making it work. Yeah, that's right. I mean, like volleyball has always been looked at as a girl's sport, so being able to show them that like it's actually a fun sport for everyone and everyone can do it, and they can learn these and have these abilities that we have, like that's really cool. Come support us, come to a game. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, we don't get to host any of our own games yet. What a fun opportunity to make history for a school. Thank you, Mrs. Whitmer. Mrs. Whitmer has been busy this school year as she has also started a new math club. Several students qualified for state and will compete this weekend. Here's more. Math club is a newly formed organization that is sending several members to state. We spoke to club sponsor, Ms. Whitmer, and qualifier, Randy Dejardin, for more. Math state is a meet you have to qualify for and uh, you get to compete with around the state with math problems to see who knows the most math. We competed at Northwest Missouri State University. It was a local tournament that allows you to qualify to go to state. Uh, we had lots of individuals qualify and so that's pretty exciting. It was the first year we ever did that. Uh, so we basically all sit down in a group and uh, we all just we're given math sheets and we just start solving problems and then different events will occur such as relays where we'll be in a team and you have to do answers within like a certain amount of time or um, just groups where you have 15 minutes to solve with a group or by yourself where you have 60 minutes to solve 25 questions or 30 questions. So hopefully the math just continues to grow. We have such a great uh, math department and I'm so proud to be a part of it. I'm looking forward to um, competing and making my college transcripts looking better, I guess, and hopefully winning. Good luck, mathletes. If you're interested, you can contact Ms. Whitmer. She posts all the information on her Google Classroom. For PCTV News, I'm Maddie Bonsignor. Good luck to all students competing. Thank you for watching. And remember, it's, it's always, always a great day, day to be a pirate. pirate.
Oh!